morning YouTube so today we are bobtailing all the way to Texas weird right so I started off in Georgia and I guess there's just no empties or something so last night I ended up driving to Mississippi stopped at this rest area because I ended up being more tired than I usually was and I don't know I just have more than enough time to get there because they said to be there on the 22nd and today's only the 21st so yeah you guys me and Pommy just went outside he went for a little walk I am gonna get pre-trip started and all of that um, I got dressed and I did my makeup and I still don't have nails on so I don't feel like myself but you know what trucker life so yeah y'all I'm using my vlog camera today for a little change I've been using my GoPro for a while now when it came to like all of the videos and I don't know I feel like it like distorts my face a little bit so it's good sometimes but I'm gonna go back to using my vlog camera as well I just need to get a wide angle lens on it so that's a little bit wider and not so like up close and personal but yeah you guys let's get the day started um yeah I already told you guys I'm in Mississippi so we're just gonna bobtail our way to Texas we have more than enough time I'm probably gonna make some stops we're probably gonna have a little bit of fun today because this one is wild today I don't know why he woke up he woke up just wanting to start shit. Like, look at him. Like, he looked like he wanted to start some shit. Look, look, look at that face. Why you woke up like that? Huh? Look, y'all, you could just tell he's bad. You could just tell he's bad. Like, it's not just in my head. He's bad. And y'all be on here talking about he's well-mannered. No, 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 no. I'm kidding, y'all. He's not that bad. Okay, let me get the day started. Let me get the day started. Well, I don't even have all my hours back. So, you know what? I'm going to just sit here, scroll TikTok a little bit. I am going to start posting on TikTok and stuff again. I'm trying to be active on social media. That way, you know, why not? So, follow my TikTok. It's at Baby Naya. I'll put it in the description below. Um, and, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, y'all know, y'all know the deal. So, yeah, let's get this vlog started. Love y'all. Thank you for the support. And let's go. I honestly feel like I need to put some air in these tires, so I'm gonna stop by Love's probably on the way. My front tires just seem a little bit low. Like, a little bit. Or, you know what, I'll probably be fine and have the shop do it at the Texas terminal. I'm just super like, steer tires scare me because that's like my worst fear getting like a steer tire blowout or something like that. Like, mm -mm, I'm okay. But let's get on this road. And see, I told you how close up this camera is versus the GoPro, so I'm gonna switch back to the GoPro now, but. not turn out how I thought it was going to just because of the fact that I ended up getting a super super bad headache 
and when I have a headache like I'm not stopping I'm not doing nothing I'm just chilling the whole way so that's basically what happened I just drove straight to Texas I got here at like 10 o'clock last night I'm sitting in the yard right now this is the um, Texas terminal or whatever I have to go find where the lounge is because I honestly have no clue where anything is in this terminal I just parked where the trailer I found the trailer last night that I'm gonna be hooking up to today so yeah I just parked near it so now I gotta go find the lounge get ready and I will come back to y'all I'm probably gonna get no I'm definitely gonna have to get some food um, and yeah you guys my pickups only set for I think it said 1400 I'm gonna try and pick it up earlier call them and ask if I can pick it up early but get today started because I guess this vlog is just gonna keep going for this trip I don't I don't know you guys all right y'all I just got food Palm already went for a walk but I feel like I should probably find a park somewhere and bring him to it before we get going because I'm taking a load to Indiana so it's gonna be like another 800 something mile load but I will hit y'all up when I'm attaching to the empty trailer because I'm still not attached. I'm still bobtail. So, actually, let me give you the rundown on this trip since this is turning into like a. I thought that this vlog was just going to be bobtail in the Texas because I wanted to stop multiple times, but I had a migraine, y'all. So that didn't happen. But okay, so this load, I'm picking up my empty from here, the terminal in Texas, in Lancaster, Texas, and then we're going to go to Fort Worth, Texas, to pick up the load and I'm going all the way to Charleston, Indiana. So we're going back to Indiana, y'all. Um, it is 884 miles, well really like 900 something miles total. So that is the load that we're about to do and I will see y'all when I'm hooking up to the empty. One thing about these trucks too, I don't know if it's because they don't have the automatic release for the fifth wheel or what, or if it's just the reefer trailers being heavier or something but like getting under the trailer like it's never like a smooth a smooth thing it's always like super hard like you guys will see in a second i'll show y'all it's always super 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 like rough getting under dry vans is way trip I'm gonna do a light test as well KLLM has some good ass trailers you guys wow I've never had just a brand new trailer so that's why they have me bobtail all the way down here y'all is because I got a brand new trailer that is so cool it's the little things that get you in this industry like oh to put some diesel on it before I leave the yard or actually I'll just stop at a pilot before I get to the place because if I get diesel at the yard I don't get points so I'll just stop get some diesel in it
vehicle. Because you guys look, it's only, it's under a quarter tank, so. Oh, I was about to say, it's on a light test, y'all. I thought the flasher didn't work for a second. You guys can hear me. I guess with their trucks, their LED headlights. So instead of having bulbs, it's it's not bulbs. You have to change out the whole headlight. And my high beam was out, so I had them change it out before I left uh, the Morrow Morrow one. Uh, I also have to get that piece replaced eventually because there is a slight crack in it. Um, it's not holding nothing or nothing like that it just annoys the fuck out of me because sometimes i hear it when i drive but i just i did a good pre-trip um i could put some more power steering but i'm not gonna because it's still still at a good level uh I did so bad communicating with y'all on this vlog, like what was going on, when it was going on. I don't know why, but this was where I was getting live loaded at um, over in Texas. Um, this is me just pulling into the dock. And yeah, like I said, this vlog is just everywhere, but yeah. <laughs>
died again, which y'all didn't know this, but my batteries did die probably like two weeks ago. Like when I first started, my batteries died, and then last night they died again for some reason. And you guys, it keeps hap happening when the truck is already in an idle. So it's like, why are my batteries dying? But I don't know. I slept for like an hour, and then I got woken up by like the inverter sound. So basically, like. When your batteries die or something, your inverter, which is like your power source to the inside of the truck, so like the outlets and everything, like the inverter will start like beeping super loud and I woke up from that and uh, yeah, my truck wouldn't start. So somebody came out, jumped me and now like I'm started up and stuff, but at this point like I'm probably not even going to fall back asleep because now I'm like up, the sun's up and stuff and my hours are going to be up soon so I'm just gonna go inside shower grab some coffee and yeah we're gonna get the day started I feel like I barely drove yesterday I only had two hours left on my 14 though so it was fine when I pulled over um I have let's see I don't know how many total miles are left because it's just showing until I get to the second fuel location in Tennessee and that's 511 miles so I don't know you guys we will what's going on I need to be de to deliver oh my gosh I need to deliver this load by noon tomorrow so we have all day today and all night in morning to get it there so I'm gonna drive out my full 11 today for sure because I only have 13 hours left on my 70 and I don't know how many hours I'm gonna get back tomorrow so that is the plan but yeah you guys let me go inside let me shower get ready for the day and I will come back to y'all guys I don't know why I haven't even like really picked up the camera much today but I'm trying to just I'm driving straight through I have three hours until I get to my next fuel location in Tennessee and I have three hours until I need a 30 minute so I'm literally gonna make it there just in time to take a 30 while I'm fueling and then um, I'm gonna try to make it to my uh, destination tonight because tomorrow my 70 hours will be up tonight and tomorrow I'm not getting any hours back on a recap. So I need to get literally as close as I can and then just PC and use that as my safe haven for tonight. Just sleep either right outside of that shipper or inside the shipper if they'll let me. But yeah, you guys, that is what is going on. So I'm literally, like I said, just going straight to that loves. I'm gonna fuel up, get something to eat because I literally have not even eaten. And tell me why, y'all. I went through Mississippi, so I was in, where was I? Why do I not remember where I just was? Where did I pick this load up at? Yo, when I tell you I'm just so over it, I don't know. I can't, I can't even remember. Anyway, oh, I was in Texas, duh. When I got this load in Texas, I should have went up through Arkansas and stuff, and I didn't. I went through Mississippi, and I guess like it added like a lot of miles on. So really, I would have had more than enough time to get there, but now it's like gonna be pushing it. So <sighs> good morning, y'all. I ended up. I don't even think I showed you guys where I ended up sleeping. I ended up sleeping right outside the shipper, and now I'm waiting to park for these people to pull out. Um, I have to walk Palm and stuff. I literally just woke up, so we're about to park and then walk and all of that stuff, so.
earlier in the vlog they died twice on me now so I'm gonna get all four of them replaced but honestly I barely slept last night so I'm probably gonna nap and stuff and I have to take a 34 anyway so tomorrow I can just do it Tom wants to go outside they have a dog park so I'm gonna go find the dog park and yeah you guys that's gonna be it for this vlog um the next vlog should be more like driving orientated than this one was I don't even know what this was you guys it was just I don't even know what I vlogged or when I vlogged. It's just a mess. But um, the next one, so my next load, I'm actually going to Cali again. So I'm super excited. So I'm going to make sure that I vlog a lot of that for you guys. Just because that's like my favorite place to go. And it's coast to coast. So that's dope. But yeah, you guys, I will see y'all in the next video. 